Okie dokie. So I am going to be attempting to make a foam of this skull from Pacific Mold Designs. Now a lot of times people have been doing more like plaster or even silicone with these, but for what I'm planning to do, I need a bunch of skulls and I need them to be lightweight. So I'm gonna be doing foam. And the foam that I'm gonna do is gonna be a rigid foam. This is a sample of how rigid it is and it's from Smooth On, as you can see right here. This one specifically is Smooth On 5. So if you're wanting, you can easily find this from smoothon.com and just get that. And we get a part A, a part B, and I also got this release agent from uh, Man Released Technologies. And what I need to do here is mostly just shake it up, pour it into this mold, slosh it around, get just a nice good thin coat, wait an hour, and then after an hour, pour these guys in, and then wait two hours until this guy's being able to be pulled out. And I wanna do the same process for every single time I use this mold. I have a total of four of them. Anyway, let's get on with this. So there are a few products that I needed and that I'm gonna be using. Of course, I have my mold from Pacific Design Molds, uh, Pacific Molds Designs. And then I have these little cups right here because the volume, I've already kind of measured out the volume of liquid or the volume in general of what this can hold is if I want to do half, it's about 10 to 12 ounces. For full, it's about 20 to 22 ounces. So because this guy will actually expand quite a bit, so like you can see right here, you put this much in, it expands to the point where it overflows like that. It over, it expands by 10. So I need to take the amount, this is what I was told. So we're gonna be testing this out together. What I do is I take the volume, which for me will be 20, let's put just uh, uh, 20 ounces. Let's just put 20 ounces. So I'm not gonna fill it all the way, but just enough. So I take 20 ounces, divide by 10, which means I need two ounces of these guys. That means one ounce of this and one ounce of this. Mix it, mix it, mix it all in. Make sure you do it aggressively. We'll show you about that later. Pour that in here. Get as much into the little cracks and crannies as possible, and then just let it rise. I'm gonna be needing to use gloves for these. I'm probably gonna get different ones. These are latex. It'd be better if I had rubber gloves. Um, I don't have them here, but I'll be also using eye goggles and some kind of safety mask for the fumes that will be for coming from this and as well as these two. So you wanna be able to be protected not only with your eyes and your skin, but also your lungs. And then I have this trash bag, mostly to just for the, hello, mostly just for the bottom here, because this foam, um, after 20 minutes, whatever it sticks to, it's pretty much there forever. So I'd rather be on here rather than my countertop. And there you go. And once all this is done, I'm gonna be making a crap ton of these guys. And I'll actually show you what I am doing to make the wall itself. So let's go ahead and start with just releasing. So there's a nice layer. Essentially, this is a kind of, of a wax, and I made sure to go over the edges because if the foam goes over, you don't want that to adhere to it because it will. So just doing that, and it's been about an hour, so it's time for the foam.
cool. So it's only been 30 minutes. It's already quite hard. I stuck this in here so it's easier for me to pull it out later. But if later on you're like, hey, you know, it's been an hour and a half, it's so hard, maybe I should be able to pull it out now. Um, definitely don't recommend doing that. Um, and you can always listen in, see if you can hear that. You can hear, it's kind of like a Rice Krispies sound. So yeah, just, we can always listen to that, hold that a bit up to ear, but just wait for two hours. But until then, it's already quite hard, ready to go. Well, not ready to go, two more hours will be ready to go. Talk to you then. All right, it's been about two hours, so now to demold. Uh, it's a bit, I did a little bit already off screen, so what I did is I held this down, took the side of this, and just kind of slid that in there, just kind of maneuvered it all the way through, and I would hear it pop off a little bit, and so we're just going to do that a little together. So I'm kind of like pulling it a little here, and when I see a gap, I kind of just go on in there. So far, the release agent seems to be working very well. Just need to maneuver it without harming the mold. <laughs> so I bet it's the eye sockets that it's having the majority issue, if you will. So I'm gonna just put this in here. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it looks awesome. Oh my gosh, that is so cool. Nice, good, clean break. That just is a little bit that fell. Yeah, it looks like the whole thing came off cleanly. Just a little bit right here that's a little caught. Oh my gosh, yay. So this part right here, I know I didn't mix it very well when I first poured it, but that's okay. You can definitely get some good texture on that. Slide that off. This is awesome. Oh my gosh, I am so happy with this. This is going to look amazing after it is painted and put all together. All right, one down, probably 50 more to go.